through! It's you! Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after Charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof, his feet transfigured into beets. If I'm honest, I'd say he had it coming. Normally I'd agree with you, but he's my brother. I know what he did showed abysmal judgment on his part. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see, I grew up in London, right on the Thames. 
Forgive me. I was sure you must have been raised in the countryside. I used to dream of just that, but it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time, and whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. It does take a while to adjust to being here. Precisely, and I was remarkably fortunate. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. Was it Sorona Ryan? It was indeed. How on earth did you know that? Sorona has been a good friend to me as well. In fact, I retrieved a box of letters from Mrs. Sprottle for her. Oh, darling Mrs. Sprottle. She was always astonished I knew as much magic as I did being muggle-born. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seeds this week. Lovely to see you. Could it be a Merlin trial?
Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Well, my feet didn't turn into beets. That's a good start. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Lumos. Uh, a troll? You can't be serious.
sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Duke certainly left behind more than plants. Lumos. Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. 
Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you? I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. the way to do it. Akio. That wasn't what I wanted to see. Akio. That's the way to do it. What a remarkable shot! Seems I got the better of you.
seems you couldn't get the upper hand that time. How about another round? Let's have it. Then take your mark. the way to do it. Akio. What a remarkable shot! Akio. That's the way to do it. That wasn't what I wanted to see. Akio. Impressive. Well, it appears I've been bested. Diving, summoner's court, seems there's nothing you can't do. You played a good game though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets. 
if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Centaurs aren't known for being the friendliest lot, especially not with wizard kind, and not right now. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Thank you. 